Hey everyone, today we're going to dive into a common problem with doodle owners and that is matted fur. For those that do not know, matted fur is basically fur that is so tangled that in order to fix it, you need to shave your dog. Matted fur can be very uncomfortable for your dog and can lead to skin problems too. Good thing you clicked on this video because we're going to dive into our routine, what's worked for us to keep Jackson not matted 24-7. If you're new here, my name is Nuriel. And I'm Katie. And this is Jackson. He is our three-year-old Aussie Doodle. Jackson is 36 pounds and he is an F1B Aussie Doodle. He's had his days of matted fur, being shaved, and we figured out the best routine to keep them tangle free. Tip number one is that brushing is key. Like human hair, doodle hair also gets knotted and you need to brush it. Brushing, golden one rule. You never leave your house without brushing your hair. Same with your dog. You need to brush your dog's hair every single day, in the morning, at night, if they were running around all day in the mud, grass, whatever, brush their hair. So this is the brush that we use to keep Jackson's coat tangle free. Definitely like to use this side a little bit better just because as you can see, there's just like metal tips on it. On the other side is a nice little, just regular brush to really kind of brush out the surface of his coat. There are actually three different types of brushes. I don't have the all three. Again, I just use this one. This one's just, this one is sufficient enough, but I'm gonna put the picture on the screen of the various three brushes. And the first one is a slicker brush. Slicker brush is a great brush for all types of coats. Great for loosening up the hair. Again, getting those minor tangles out. The next brush is an undercoat rake and an undercoat rake is best for double coats. It's great for removing a lot of that dense undercoat. And lastly is a metal comb. Metal combs are great for detangling and separating fur. Really, they're just good for the final finishing touches. So now, how often should you brush your dog's coat? How often you brush your dog's coat really depends on the type of coat your dog has. How long the fur is, how short. For longer coats, you obviously should be brushing it every single day. But for shorter coats, Jackson right now, he is probably on the shorter end. So I don't really brush him as much. For medium coats, when he gets a little bit longer, I would brush him around two to three times a week. When brushing your dog, remember that you're brushing gently. So even though, you know, you might not feel pain, obviously you're brushing your dog. Your dog definitely feels it. Also start at the ends and then work your way up. So this prevents any tangling. Again, similar with like a human hair when you are brushing your own hair, you usually start down and then you move up. Same with the dog. Also brush in sections. This ensures that you're brushing through everything and that you're getting each section. So no random sections are getting matted and some sections aren't. Also, sometimes dogs can get a little scared of the brush. They might not really understand what it is. So make sure you're rewarding your dog for doing a good job sitting still while you brush them. This will also encourage them to enjoy getting a nice little brush every day or every other day. And then last but definitely not least is make sure you are consistent. If you brush your dog, you know, once every month, obviously they're still gonna mat. You wanna make sure you're doing it, again, like on a good routine so your dog gets used to it, um, again, so that they're not matting. I also wanna add, make sure you get behind the ears, around the ears, behind the legs. Those specific spots can get really tingled. And before I forget, I forgot to mention this, but when his coat is really, really long and I, he hasn't been to the groomers, I actually get and this is not sponsored in any way we actually use this tangle remover by tropiclean i'm sure any tangle remover but this one works best for us give this a spray and it makes his coat nice and smooth again easy to really brush out those tangles it does the job that it's supposed to so definitely recommend getting something like this we're not going to give jackson a bath in this video but if we were to give him a bath or if you want to give your doodle a bath here are some tips that we found just raising jackson over the past three years make sure you're using dog specific shampoo and conditioner do not use your shampoo and conditioner it's not made for dog hair also make sure you brush your dog's hair before and then also after the bath so it's very similar again to human hair you want to brush your hair before you get in the shower and then after you get in the shower again this just helps loosen up the hair prevents matting and then lastly don't let your dog run around all wet in your apartment make sure you are blow drying their hair yeah we can't stress it enough to fully blow dry your dog's coat 
until it's basically completely dry. If there's any ounce of wetness, it can get tangled, it can stick together, and again, be more prone to getting matted. So definitely blow dry your dog's hair for as long as you can. I think I give Jackson really quick baths around 10 to 15 minutes, but like for the next hour, I blow dry his hair when it's really long just to make sure it's fully dry. So I can't stress that enough. So now what happens if your dog's already matted and you're already at the point of no return. Here are some steps we recommend taking. All right, so speaking from personal experience, Jackson unfortunately has been matted to a minor point where we were able to brush it out, we caught it quick enough, to a more severe point where unfortunately his matting was just so bad that we had to take him to a professional. You could go to like Petco or I'm sure there's a dog stylist somewhere in your town, your city. Go to them, they have the tools and the experience to safely remove the mats. Please do not try to shave your dog yourself like that will just cause a lot of stress for your dog a lot of stress for you but to avoid all of this we have one simple trick budget permitting that we definitely recommend and that is to routinely groom your dog every 1.5 months at least 1.5 months works for us so every 1.5 months i get jackson groomed essentially to a certain length I, around this length maybe a little bit less but essentially to this short length so that way it doesn't get too long that it'll tangle and also it's not long enough that i have to actually brush it out i definitely again this is not sponsored in any way but I definitely recommend if you have a great Petco near you, enrolling in their Vital, I believe it's called Vital Core program, but essentially it's $20 a month. You get $15 in in-store credit, which I use towards Jackson's grooming. And his grooming comes out to around $70 in total with the credit, with the tip and everything. So $70 every 1.5 months. I definitely recommend it and it pays for itself. But again, that's only if it's within your budget. If it's not in your budget to get your dog groomed every, you know, one and a half months, maybe do it every two, every three months. A dog's coat can actually be very uncomfortable for them if it grows too long. So they will, even if you are brushing, even if there's no matting, like they still will need to go to the groomers and have their hair cut just like, again, just like humans. So I definitely think finding a good groomer that you trust and finding a good schedule, again, whether it's, you know, one and a half months like us or every two, every three, whatever works in your budget is a really good idea. If you're at the point of no return and you have to shave your dog because I feel like all doodle owners have been there at one point it's gonna be okay his or her fur is always gonna grow back they might look a little weird they might look like a completely new dog I'll put some footage up of what Jackson looked like completely shaved I tell you he looks like a Dalmatian but yeah let us know if we miss anything if you are a dog owner and have any tips or tricks for any new ones leave them in the comments down below I'm sure it can be very helpful for anyone that comes across this video thank you guys for watching hit that subscribe button please like that video and see you guys on the next one